It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. A woman gamer decided to create an anti-harassment group called the Bully Hunters. The goal of the anti-harassment group, which is largely led by women, is to hunt down verbal harassers in the video game called Counter-Strike. After I kill you, I'm gonna be a necro oh and rape your body. Stupid bitch. We are a collective of gamers, brands, and organizations fighting to eliminate in-game harassment by introducing a global tool that connects victims with skilled gamers in real time. The Bully Hunters started as a small group of pro gamers, but we can't do it alone. We need you. We're calling on every victim of harassment to call a bully hunter and every skilled gamer to become a bully hunter. This is not a game. Before I talk about the drama, I want to first say that obviously I'm against harassment. I personally think that any form of harassment is not okay in any part of the world. That said, I do not like the idea of framing harassment as simply just a gendered issue. Harassment affects everybody. It does not matter if you're black, if you're white, if you're male, if you're female. Harassment is not a female issue. Harassment is a human issue. If you don't like trash talk in a video game, simply turn off the console or turn off the volume of your headset or TV set. It takes more time to call a group that is called the Bully Hunters to solve your problems than turning off your audio on your TV set and your headphones. By stating that women cannot handle trash talk, you're essentially painting women as victims. Women can be just as strong as the guys for trash talk. By stating they cannot handle such things, you're essentially saying that women are delicate flowers. However, that is not the case for many women. Essentially, you're demonstrating bigotry of low expectations by saying this kind of shit. The biggest selling point of the Bully Hunter campaign is that 21 million women suffer from harassment. However, if you click on the citation, it's based upon a sample size of 874 people. Look guys, I'm terrible at math. I was like a C and D student at math. That said, just how in the living fuck do you get over a million people out of 800 people! Like seriously, you have to be really freaking stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! What kills me more beside the shitty math of the Bully Hunter campaign is the fact of the hypocrisy that lies beneath it. For example, the Bully Hunter campaign considers trash talk as verbal harassment. However, the founder was found saying the word faggot. Ah, oh, such faggots. Oh, you died again? Yep. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. It makes me not want to play. We want to play Battlefield? You want to play something else? Because these faggots are just going to chase me around. Look, I don't really care if people say faggot, spick, or nigger while they're playing video games. However, by her own standards, she has to call the bully hunters to make sure she gets shot down and counter-strike while she plays the game for using that language. I forgot to mention that Casanova is also a bully. According to her Twitter page, she basically said that if she spots somebody using her likeliness in a video, she'll false flag the video of that person. In other words, the biggest anti-bully turns out to be the biggest bully. Figures. Maybe it's me, but it reminds me so much about how the anti-racists are the biggest racists and how the anti-fascists are the biggest fascists. I am against fascism. So let's destroy buildings and hurt people. I am anti-racist, but I want affirmative action on black people. I am against bullying, so let's bully people into silence. 
In English, we have a word for this kind of activism. It's called slacktivism. Slacktivism is when a person truly believes that they're changing the world for the better through their activism. However, it's the exact polar opposite of that. This campaign is not changing the world for the better in the slightest. Tell me this, just how is harassment going to end by killing shit talkers and counter-strike? This campaign lies and manipulates data and paints women as perpetual victims. And I'm just glad, just so, so glad, that this campaign is failing in the most epic ways. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.